Hello everybody! This video is about accelerating Windows 10 for gaming. I'll show you how to improve your PC performance in games by tuning Windows 10 properly. However, most of the tricks will work with earlier versions of Windows as well. Here we go! Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. In this video, I'm not going to compare how my computer performed in games before and after the operating system settings have been optimized. The computer I'm using to make this video is not a gaming rig, and there is hardly anything to show when it comes to gaming. All the more, lack of performance or how visible it is may differ depending on the particular configuration of the actual computer. Anyway, the settings I'm about to show are worth using for any game computer because their wrong values are certainly eating up a share of its potential gaming performance. Of course, if you can afford buying a powerful gaming rig or upgrade your current one by adding some expensive parts, this video may be of little use. On the contrary, it is intended for those on a tight budget, but still dreaming of playing modern games with the hardware they already have. The first step is about choosing the power plan. For better performance, a computer needs more power. To make sure you have it, go to Control Panel – Power Options. As you can see, the default setting is balanced. It will balance performance with energy consumption. If you need the most of your computer, this is only possible with the maximum power. That's why you should choose high performance and close the window. Here is the second step. Remove all the software you don't use or don't need from your computer. To do it, go to Control Panel – Programs and Features and you will see all the programs installed on this computer. View this list and uninstall the ones you don't need anymore. It will free up some disk space and make the system work more stably. Some of the programs on the list might be harmful, so it's only for the better. Step 3. Disable the unneeded startup items. It will free some of the computer's resources from having to run the programs that start with the system and continue to run in the background even if you don't use them. To do it, start the Task Manager and go to Startup tab. This list contains all the programs that start automatically when the system boots. If you see a certain program on the list, it doesn't necessarily mean that it was added by you or another user. Without your knowledge, many applications put themselves into the startup list during their installation, so the list can be quite long. To remove a program from startup, click on it and choose Disable. Later, you can start this program manually by clicking on its shortcut or if you need to use it. Similarly, you can enable it to start with the system again if necessary. It will give a significant boost to your PC and reduce the operating system boot time when you turn on the computer. While in the Task Manager, don't forget to have a look at the Processes tab. It shows all the processes your computer is running at the moment. Some of them may not appear on the startup list. For each process, you will see the information on how much load it puts on the computer's processor, it is shown in the CPU column and how much system memory it takes – the memory column. Review the list of processes. If any of them is using too much of your PC's resources, you can stop it. Just highlight it and click on End task. Make sure you don't act too fast and stop all processes. If you disable an important system process, so the computer may start lagging, freezing or even shut down. If you want, you can watch a detailed video on the task manager by following the link in the description. Step 4. Disable the unnecessary and resource-intensive Windows services. Uh, these are applications launched automatically by the system when Windows start. Uh, there are many processes like that, but not all of them are in use. By disabling the ones not being used, you can also gain a performance boost. This is how you do it. Go to Windows Search or type Services in the Start menu. 
start the suggested system service. As you can see, there are many system services and you can't rush into disabling them without knowing what you are doing. It will almost certainly result in your system crashing. Anyway, here are the four services you can disable in any case. Diagnostic policy service, offline files, portable device enumerator, and secondary logon. I will leave this list in the description. There is no detailed description of what each service does, but you can look it up on the Internet. Turning them off will definitely improve your system performance. So to stop a service, right-click on it and select Properties. In the General tab, click on Stop. Set the startup type as Manual. And that's all, this service is stopped. In the same way, stop the other three. Step 5 is defragmenting and optimizing hard disks. When there are too many fragmented files, the hard disk performance deteriorates because now there is more time that needs to be spent on moving the magnetic heads between the separated fragments. Defragmentation is the process of rearranging files and the disk logical structure to ensure an uninterrupted sequence of clusters. Defragmentation accelerates reading and writing of files and therefore programs work faster because the hard disk can be read without interruptions, that is, without the need to move the magnetic heads all over the disk surface. Bear in mind, though, that SSDs don't need defragmentation as they don't contain any moving parts. To perform hard disk defragmentation, type defragment in the Windows search field. Choose the system tool you are offered. When it opens, you will see all your disks. Select the one you need and click on the Optimize button. You can also set up automatic defragmentation. To do it, click on Change settings and check the box next to Run on the schedule. Visit our channel to watch a detailed video about disk defragmentation in Windows 10. You will find the link in the description. Step 6 is cleaning the disk. The Windows Integrated Tool Disk Cleanup must be the safest app to remove all the junk files from your computer's hard disk. Disk Cleanup is very effective at removing the junk files, but it never deletes anything important and it doesn't generate errors. To free your disk from junk, open this PC and right-click on the necessary disk. Select Properties – General – Disk Cleanup. The tool will calculate and show the things you can delete from this disk. Check the boxes next to what you'd like to remove. By clicking on Clean up system files, you will delete system files from this disk. In addition to freeing up some hard disk space, you will also boost its performance by removing the junk. On our YouTube channel, you can find detailed videos about this function as well as other ways to clean the disk from unnecessary files. Follow the link in the description. Step 7 is about removing temporary files from the system. Usually, such files are removed automatically by the process that has created them. Yet, often they remain on the disk only to eat up the free space and slow down both the hard disk and the operating system in general. The system doesn't need such files, so you can help it by cleaning them up. Start the Run tool and type %temp% and then click OK. Select all the files in the folder that opens and delete them. Those are temporary files. Let's go back to the Run tool and type temp without the percent signs, then click OK. In this folder, delete all files too. Again, go back to the Run tool and type Prefetch, then click OK. In this folder, delete all files too. 
Now the job is done. Temporary foils are removed. Step 8. Disable unnecessary system configuration services. To do it, start the run tool and type msconfig. In the system configuration window, go to Services. Check the option Hide all Microsoft services so that you don't disable anything important. View the remaining list and uncheck the boxes for the services you'd like to disable. Click Apply and OK. Step 9 is tweaking the registry. Registry tweaks are software, user and operating system settings stored in the system registry. Some of them can also influence your computer's performance. Among the many, I'll show you only a few. To do it, go to the Windows registry, start the run tool and type regedit. In the registry, go to the folder H key, Current User, Control Panel, Mouse. Find the key Mouse Hour Time and change its value data to 10. In the same folder, Control Panel, go to the folder Desktop. Find the key Mouse Show Delay and change its value data to 10. Restart the computer for the changes to take effect. Remember to never change anything in the registry if you don't know what exactly you are doing. The operating system may crash easily. With the last step 10, we'll optimize visual effects and the operating system appearance, which are also consuming some of the computer's resources. I think advanced users know this trick, because it was a must-have with older versions of Windows such as XP, Vista or Windows 7. So, type System in the Start menu or in the Windows search and run the corresponding tool. After that, Advanced System Settings, Advanced, in the Performance section, click on Settings. The Performance Options tool will open. Select the tab Visual Effects. In my case, all the settings are defaults. Yet there are two other variants for the settings – Adjust for Best Appearance and Adjust for Best Performance. Of course, I pick Adjust for Best Performance, Apply, OK. The system interface may not look too beautiful now, but it certainly improved the computer performance. After all these settings, restart the computer so that all of them should be applied. As a result, the load put on the hardware by the operating system will be reduced. Here is one more way to optimize a computer for gaming. I haven't listed it as step 11, because to me it seems quite a different story. Yet I could not miss specialized game optimizing software or game boosters. There are many of them, but today we'll have a look at one of the three products, Razer Cortex. Find the link to the official website in the description. Install and run the program. Registration is required to use it, but don't worry, it doesn't entail any obligations. After the application starts, you will see four menus – Game Booster, System Booster, Deals and Rewards. We are interested in the first two options. With the System Booster, you can optimize or accelerate your system. As you can see, the program can clean the system, optimize your hardware and defragment your games. Hit the Scan button and the tool will show you what can be optimized. Select the things you really need to optimize and click on the Optimize button. I have already shown you how to do manually many of the things that this program suggests. However, Razer Cortex automates all the actions – cleaning the system, disabling unnecessary services, etc. In the menu Game Booster, My Library, you should see all the games installed on this computer. If the program doesn't see them by default, you can add them by clicking on the plus button. 
The Boost submenu will tell you how Razor Cortex is going to accelerate the game. Go there to see what system elements will be optimized, what processes and services suspended. If you like, you can add more items for optimization or remove the selection from some of the elements that have been included automatically. To start a game with the booster, go to My Library, select the game and click Play. After that, the booster will apply the optimization settings you have chosen and start the game with the optimized conditions. The gameplay should become much smoother. I hope the information in this video was useful. If you have any questions, leave a comment to ask one. Suggest your own ideas for boosting a weak computer. And as usual, hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.